Hey everyone, Gary here with uh, THC Scientific, uh, here to show you how to actually measure the iris. I have my iris set up, got a fluke um, right here, it's a, 289, a 287 model, and got my little tester, it shows the ohms and uh, open, so uh, here we go, we're going to turn the iris on, there we go, wait for it to initialize. All right, <clears throat> in order to test the voltage uh, output correctly, what you need to do with the iris is set it on the voltage, and you need to have a tester that can do um, AC plus DC. Um, if I put it on AC and, uh, actually, hold on one second. If I put it on uh, DC and AC, it'll show me the uh, DC and the AC model. And if I put it on, let's say, 3 volts, um, it's going to provide you with numbers. Now, if it's at 3 volts and you take 1.2 plus 2.7, it's going to be around 3.9, which is totally wrong. That's not how you measure this. What you want to do is, if you want to measure it correctly, you got to put AC plus DC. And if you select it at 3 volts, and uh, you'll see it right there, 2.99, 3.0. So it's fluctuating a little bit. It's a pulse, a pulse width modulation, so that's going to happen a little bit. But there you go. All right, I'm going to put it under load at 1.5 uh, ohms. You'll see right there, 1.5 ohms. And you'll see the voltage that it's putting at on the 1.5 ohms, uh, which is no drop at all. So it's providing, with, uh, providing you with about 6 watts of power. If uh, You see the LCD screen right there, so that's 6 watts. All right, and you press uh, the plus button. It'll show you 1.5 ohms exactly. Battery voltage is at 7.5 volts. Now let's say if you want to run uh, a Hercules uh, at uh, 4.2 volts. We'll put that at 4.2 volts right there. Press it. It gives you 17.6 volts of power and uh, the voltage drop drop under four, one point, well, actually one, one ohm drop is very very small. Let's say you accidentally put a 3.7 volt Hercules and you Put it up until 7.4 volts. Well, what it's going to tell you is this: low ohms. That means your uh, cartridge, whatever setup that you have on there, is not uh, appropriate for the uh, voltage that you have set. This will kick in after 4.9 volts. So you can operate the Hercules 3.7 volt up until 4.9 volts, which will give you about 25 4 watts, which should work with oils but we'll do further testing on that one but let's say you have 1.5 ohms and uh, it'll operate at 5 volts or higher you can go all the way up to 7.4 volts there you go 36.5 watts of power on a 1.5 ohm now if you look at 1.5 ohm and 7.4 volts you'll see the voltage drop under load which is about 6.3 volts so that's about a 1.1 voltage drop but if you want to do a 5 ohm load on it you'll see on 7.4 volts you'll see the voltage drop to be about 0.4.5 all right so the correct way to measure it is not AC plus DC I'm mean, actually a separate as in if you're taking this and you're taking uh, DC plus uh, AC and it shouldn't do it uh, this is a uh, correctly showing the DC voltage because it's at a higher uh, voltage but at the lower of voltages uh, what the pulse width modulation does is it adjusts uh, the pulses of the electricity that's coming out so if we put it at uh, 3.5 volts <coughs> you'll see 3.0 on the AC and 1.7 on the DC which is not correct it's not uh, properly showing the correct voltage so what you have to do is make sure that you select AC plus DC which will give you the the sum right there at 3.5 now this is on a 5 ohm load let's do it on an open again 3.5 is going to show you 3.54 um, bring it down to 7.4 it's going to show you 7.4 you know even on a AC plus uh, AC separate and DC separate if you look at it your DC is at 7.4 volt while your AC is non-existent 
the lower voltages you go, your DC will draw. Uh, your DC start will start picking up. So you look at that right there. I put this on five volts, 3.4 and 3.6. But if you switch it to AC plus DC, it'll give you correct five volts. And that is how you're supposed to be properly check a pulse width modulation system. It's AC plus DC. That's a uh, true RMS. Um, what other companies usually do is when they actually uh, test their um, uh, uh, devices, okay, they actually tested it on DC, and uh, that means they never check the AC component of pulse width modulation. That's why some of the devices out there right now, what happens is uh, they're they're showing correctly four volts DC if you set on four volts, but the AC component is not being shown. They're not testing it, so they don't know what's wrong with it. This was uh, fixed by our engineers and. Uh, Currently being copied in China to fix other uh, companies' uh, defective devices. You can thank uh, me, my engineering team, THC Scientific for fixing uh, smoke text issue with their ZMAX or any other pulse width modulation system that's out there. That's not correctly showing it before, now it is. Alright, you guys have a fun day and uh, wait for more videos later on.